Hi folks, welcome to Open Source Options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the shape of a nested list in Python. This is a technique that can be used to get the shape of any list, one that doesn't have any sublists or one that does have sublists. Uh, it's going to be a, a widely applicable method that you might want to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, let's go ahead and create a list first of all. And this is going to be a very complicated list that we're going to create. Now, if you haven't watched the video on how to find the shape of a Python tuplar list, you might want to go do that now because this is going to pick up where that video left off. All right, so let's just create a list that has a bunch of lists in it. One, two, three, and then another list over here. And before I keep going, I'll just mention all the code for this can be found online on opensourceoptions.com, and the link is down in the description. Okay, uh, we're going to have lists of different shapes here, and then we're going to do a list inside the list with multiple lists. So I'll put another list over here. A no list. No list. Okay. So we have this very complicated list, and you'll notice here that we have lists of differing lengths. Um, let's actually make this one have four elements. So we have lists of differing lengths. Um, we have just an integer with no list, different length, and then here we have another list with lists and integers inside of our list. Okay, so it, it kind of has three dimensions at the maximum. What we want to do is we want to find a way to go through and get all those dimensions figured out regardless of what our list is like. Okay, so we have our list. Now we're going to make a new empty list to uh, describe the number of dimensions. And what we want to do here is any time we find a new dimension, so if we start off, we have first we have this big list. I'm going to zoom out here just a little so we can see our list. We have our full list right here. And if we look at the number of elements, we have one, two, three, four. There are five elements in that list. If we go to the first element, that first element has a length of three, right? And it could be different depending on things there. It could be four or five, you know, just depending. So you want to have um, a list here that stores each dimension. And by a dimension, I mean, so if we were to do it right here, we'd have a dimension of five for this first one. Then we'd have a dimension of three here. And then you notice that in this list, we have three elements. So it would be five, three, three. What we probably want to do, though, is get the maximum dimension, right? Because we have a 3 here, but there's a 2 here, there's a 3 here, there's a 1 there, and there's a 4 there. So if we want to get the maximum dimension, we'd have 5, 4, 3. Okay, so 5 is this first dimension, then we have items in the overall list. 4 is the maximum of a single list inside of that, which is right here. And then 3 is the maximum of lists inside of lists, which is here. And so we're going to write a function that does all this for us. Uh, well, we're going to write a function and then we're going to write a script. And so let's go ahead and start this function. We're going to name this set dimension. It's going to take three inputs. Uh, so I need to put a def up here, def set dimension. And it's going to take the dim our dimensions. It's going to take an index, so the dimension we're interested in setting, and it's going to take a value, so a number that describes that index. Okay, so let's name this dims for dimensions. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to check and see if the length of dims is greater than the index. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this, let's say we want to set the first dimension, which would have an index of zero. We have to make sure that 
DIMS actually has that index because right now DIMS has no dimensions. It doesn't have any length to it. And so when we do this, we'll need to add that. Okay. And if the length of DIMS is greater than the index, that means we already have an existing value at that location. So for example, let's walk through what would happen here. So for this first list, um, or for the first one, I'd put in uh, my list as a value, right? And it would say, okay, well, my first dimension length is five. So then I go to the next one and say, okay, I want to mention for the second one. And they would say, okay, well, we don't have a second dimension yet, so let's add it, all right? And so that's what we're kind of doing right here. And then if we added this value here, so it's okay, well, the next dimension, the length is three, so our dimension two is gonna be three. Okay, good deal. Now we're gonna go to this next one, and we're gonna check this and say, okay, well, is this one bigger? We want the max dimension. Well, this is two, so it's not greater, so we're just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, and this is gonna make sense as we go through the code a little more. It's hard to explain this um, in words, but with code we can do it. Okay, so if that dimension exists already, what we're gonna do is if dims at that index is less than the value, which is gonna be the length of the thing we're interested in setting, and dims index is going to equal the value. Okay, otherwise, so this is saying if our length, if the length of dims is less than or equal to the index, then we're just going to um, dims append value. So this is saying well, if that dimension already exists, we're only going to update it if the new value is greater than the old value. If it doesn't exist, we're going to create it. Okay, that's all set dimension is due. Now what we need to do is we need to, um, and then I think we need to return dims. Yeah, and then sorry, we need to return dims here. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to loop through all the dimensions of this list and run set dimension on each dimension to make sure we get the right output. This is gonna get a little complicated, but I'll walk you through it. So let's start this out by just setting the first dimension. So we'll do dims equals set dimension. We're gonna give it dims. We're going to give it the first, um, the first dimension. And then we're going to give it the length of my list. Okay, so we've got that. So now let's go print. Um, let's go first dimension and dims. And I'm going to go ahead here and click run, and we'll see the output. So you can see our first dimension is five, and we previously confirmed that indeed our list has five uh, elements in it. Okay, so now we're going to start the complicated part. And what we're going to do is loop through all the elements in the first list. So we're going to go for i in um, my list. Okay. We want to get an index, though. So we're going to do for i in range the length of my list. And then what I want to do is see if the element is also a list. If is instance um, my list i list, then we're going to set dimension dims. We're going to put a one here because we're going through the elements of my list, okay? And so we're going through all these sub lists and elements. And we want to go len my list i, okay? So that's going to, this line of code here is going to set the second dimension. 
Okay, so let's just write a, a print statement at the end here to show what this looks like. So we're going to do print. Um, actually, we're going to put it. Uh, we'll put it at the very end. We'll print all the dimensions at the end here. So let's do print all dimensions and dims. Okay. So now this is only going to go through the first two dimensions, but if I run it, where before, let's see what we got here. Oops, that's the wrong thing, sorry. Run, that's what I want. So before I got the number five, I got a list of length one. When I run this again, I'm going to get a list of length two. So let's go ahead and run it. You can see I have five and four. And if you determine before, four was the largest value here. And that's happening because here in set dimension, we are finding the largest value at each dimension. So now in order to do this for everything else, we're, we can just come through and make a couple more loops to get to our third dimension. So if we go um, 4J in range len my list um, I We're going to do if is instance um, my list, and I'm going to go i j comma space list, okay, and then we can set dimension with dims. Now we're going to go to two when my list i j all right and so that should give us the third dimension now if our list happened to have four dimensions we just add another loop on here as so we go 4k in range when my list and then we'd be going i J and we come down if is instance my list I J now we're going to add K on there list and we do set dimension dims three when my list I and then K and that would set it now what you're going to see is even though I could set four dimensions so I set the first dimension here if the second dimension exists I set it here if the third dimension exists I set it here and if the fourth dimension exists I set it here so let's go ahead and click run and see what our three-dimensional list looks like. And we'll only get three out, even though we have this set up to potentially do four dimensions. So I'll click run, and now you can see that I get five, four, three back, just like we would expect from the list that we created up here. All right, so that's how you can find the shape, the maximum shape of a nested list in Python. I know that's a little complicated, and I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it is. And like I said, the code is all available on opensourceoptions.com, and I will make sure to include the link below uh, in the description. Thank you all for watching.